Hi, guys. Welcome to Agile World Wellness. And today, again, we were talking um, about psychological safety at the workplace and the power of visualization. So we people, we don't like uh, uncertainty. And this is why sometimes we are afraid of future, of tomorrow, because we don't know what will happen. Our brain got used to the homeostasis, the um, position where the environment is well known and you know what will be next. Even if our homeostasis is not very good and we don't really like things happening to us, our brain can still predict what is next. Our brain knows that tomorrow it will not be good, but at least I am sure I'm no and I'm certain about it not being good. Uncertainty for the brain is horrible and difficult because there are so many risks and it generates a lot of fears. So we need to do everything to at least give the illusion of control to our brand, to our brain. Why do I say illusion? Because, hey, let's be honest to each other. We cannot control and predict everything. There are futurologists, there are people who are forecasting things. And of course, some mathematical, statistical analysis, the models, they help us to forecast at least something. But then we have something happening in a very unpredictable way and or our plan plans are ruined. And this is where agile is really helpful, isn't it? But at least for the brain, we need to have the, the solution. We need to have the imitation of the control. So the brain thinks, oh, okay, I'm so powerful. I can impact the world and the future and my life and my career and the project and everything. How do we create it? We create this by visualizing things because when we just talk about something or we think about something or we discuss, you know, there's nothing material, there's no artifact for our brain. It's something really illusionary, not existing. So we need to, to materialize it at least somehow because things which are material, let's say I have something here, uh, you know, there's something we can touch. There's something we can impact. I can take the object. I can move it, I can throw it away. But, you know, the concepts, the ideas, the problems, the tasks, they're just somewhere here in the air and there are quite a lot of them and you're like lost. And this is why I love agility because it solves it, you know, just like that. We have so many visualization tools. So what are the artifacts which we have with you every day, which really help the brain to understand, hey, this is under my control because I see it with my eyes, you know, like maybe I can even print it and touch it. So we have the Kanban board where we have the flow of the task. It's very clear. The tasks are moving from to do to doing and then done, you know, and you're even, you know, moving the task through the Kanban board so you can move them then physically you know you can click and then you can stretch it and you know you impact you have the solution of control and you know it's 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 very transparent and it's visualized who is doing what when he's doing what he's doing um, and this gives a brain uh, quite a good sense of satisfaction. When we do some uh, daily meetings, retrospectives, uh, strategic sessions, then very often in the Agile community, I can see we're using Mural or Miro or Google Slides or some other tools where we write things, where we put pictures, um, and visuals, schemes, and all these visual materials, they also create the sense of predictability and certainty. So this is why I like the agile jamming session where instead of just talking about the end results, you are asking the people to find a picture or to draw a picture. This is even better because you draw it, you impact it, you are the controller of everything and then share it on the boards. And we have a lot of visuals. And instead of just words, we even have something, you know, creative and visualized. And it's, wow, I can see that, that you draw the future. It means for the brain that you create the future, aren't you? And I really like, you know, these icebreakers where we have the smiley faces and people are 
voting, uh, what state of the mood, emotion do you have? And then everybody is voting whether they are excited or surprised or frightened or they have anxiety. And then just in, instead of feeling things which are not tangible at all, we have a board, we have smiley faces, some of them are happy, some of them are angry. And then we can even calculate, you know, the average mood of the team. And then we create the plan. It's all visualized. Or for for example, the people are working on the project and then somewhere in the middle you retrospect and instead of saying things which again are, you know, in the air, uh, not visible, you cannot sense them, uh, you ask them to find any picture, put it on a mirror board or in a Zoom, a Zoom um, chat and this picture would uh, visualize the process of the work on the project and somebody is sharing the pictures from the adventure films from the horror films or some something else and you know without words it's here it's it's uh, actually very representative and it also gives you a very nice size breaker breaker a very nice basis for discussion because discussing difficult things just right away is difficult but when you have a picture when you add a little bit of humor maybe into it it becomes much easier so we can visualize many things we visualize our objective by writing them in a certain art artifact uh, in a certain document which is shareable and which is visible to the team we can uh, visualize the processes, uh, drawing them. We can visualize the structure of our organization and with the job descriptions, roles, positions, projects, who is doing what. We can, we can visualize the rules of the game, ways of working by creating, I don't know, uh, 10 uh, points uh, from the guidelines of how we work here efficiently. We can visualize results. We can visualize plans. We can visualize uh, working uh, tasks and flows and we can we need to try to visualize as much as possible because it really gives the brain uh, the feeling of comfort and you know the sticky notes that we move from our Kanban board first we write them then we move them uh, to 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 the from to do to done it also gives us the uh, perception that we are we are impacting we are contributing we are controlling things yeah and um, visual colors it also awaken, awakens the creative uh, part of the brain it wakens up the prefrontal lobe which is the thinking brain responsible for creativity decision making problem solving you know functioning actually working all things we need and it uh, really um, minimizes the impact of amygdala in the brain, which is responsible just for blocking us with negative emotions, you know, and scanning the risks and being negative. Um, and that is why we need more uh, visual things. And it's very important also the colors you use on your Kanban boards, having the certain colorful text, your branding, maybe also the backgrounds you're using, the objects that which surround you, visual things, you know, um, aesthetic things, they also help you to, to be the person because we also have the aesthetical needs. If we go to the Maslow pyramid of the basic needs, we don't only need to have this uh, safety and, uh, you know, food and shelter and socializing and a Inspiration, but we also have the aesthetical needs, you know, things beautiful, things visualized. That is why I think today, what can you visualize uh, at work and how you can use the visualization in order to drive psychological safety. Thank you so much. Be creative, visualize things and have a great day. Bye.